Have you ever wondered at how companies seems to know exactly what their customers want? It's not just magic. It's A/B testing. Simple yet powerful technique used to compare two different versions of something to see which one performs better. In this video, we will break down the basics of A/B testing and show you how it can help you make smarter decisions for your business. In this video, we will cover what is A/B testing, why you should do an A/B test, how does A/B testing work, different types of A/B test, A/B testing processes. Also, if you are interested in advancing your career, consider SP Gen's professional product management course led by industry experts. This comprehensive program equips you with essential skills and insights to excel as a product manager. Dive deep into the latest industry trends and advancements through live sessions. From strategic planning to product development and marketing, gain a thorough understanding of the field. Receive practical guidance and certification to stand out in the competitive market. Take the next step towards success and enroll now to unlock endless opportunities in the dynamic world of product management. All right, so let's start with the first topic. A/B testing is like running a race between two teams to see which one performs better, but instead of athletes, we're comparing two versions of something to see which one people like more. Imagine you have two designs for a lemonade stand sign, one with a big bright lemon picture and another with a cool fancy font saying lemonade B. You put each sign up for a week and track how many people come to buy lemonade. If more people come when the lemon picture is up, you know that's the better choice. Real life examples include websites like Amazon trying two different homepage designs to see which one leads to more sales, or Netflix testing different movie thumbnail images to figure out which ones make more people want to watch. It's a way for businesses to make decisions based on actual customer behavior rather than just guessing. The beauty of A/B testing is in its simplicity. You change one thing, keep everything else the same, and measure the difference in how people react. This method helps businesses make decisions that are guided by what their users actually like and respond to, leading to better products, happier customers, and often more sales. Whether it's choosing the color of a button on a website or the subject line of an email, A/B testing provides a clear, evidence-based path to improvement. So this was about A/B testing. Now let's understand why you should do an A/B test. A/B testing is employed by businesses to optimize their marketing strategies and enhance overall performance. By comparing two versions of a web page, email, advertisement, or any other marketing asset, A/B testing allows companies to scientifically evaluate which variant resonates better with their audience. This method provides valuable insights into consumer behavior, preferences, and trends, enabling organizations to make data-driven decisions and refine their marketing efforts accordingly. By testing different elements such as headlines, call-to-action buttons, layouts, or imagery, businesses can identify the most effective tactics for driving engagement, conversions, and ultimately revenue. Moreover, A/B testing fosters continuous improvement and innovation within marketing campaigns as it empowers teams to experiment with new ideas and iterate based on real-time feedback. In a competitive landscape where every interaction matters, A/B testing serves as a powerful tool for maximizing ROI and staying ahead of the curve. So these were some reasons that you should do an A/B test. Now let's have a look at how does A/B testing work? Let's use a simple example of a coffee shop that wants to increase the number of people signing up for its loyalty program. The owner comes up with two versions of a sign-up invitation. Version A uses a picture of a delicious-looking cup of coffee with the text "Join our loyalty program," while version B has the same picture but adds "Get a free coffee on us when you sign up today." Here's how the A/B testing process would work: Split the audience. The coffee shop displays version A to half of its visitors and version B to the other half. This could be done on different days of the week. Or in different locations to ensure a fair test. Measure the results. The shop tracks how many people sign up for the loyalty program after seeing each version of the invitation. Analyze. After a set period, the owner looks at which version led to more sign-ups. If version B with the offer of a free coffee resulted in more sign-ups, that's a clear indicator that customers were motivated by the immediate reward. Implement. Knowing that the free coffee offer worked better, 
the coffee shop decided to use version B moving forward to attract more people to its loyalty program. This A-B testing example shows how a simple experiment can provide valuable insights into customer preferences, allowing businesses to make informed decisions that drive success. All right, now let's understand different types of a B tests. There are several types of a B tests that businesses can conduct to optimize their marketing strategies and improve overall performance. A-B testing. A-B testing compares two versions of something to see which one performs better. Imagine having two posters advertising a concert, one in red and one in blue. You put up both posters in different places and see which one attracts more people to your concert. It's a straightforward test with only one change between the two versions. Next is split URL testing. Split URL testing is like A-B testing but for whole web pages. Instead of changing just one thing on a page, you create two separate web pages with their own URLs. For example, if you're testing a new layout for your blog, you'd have one version at the original URL and another version on a new URL. You then see which page layout gets more visits or keeps visitors engaged longer. Coming to multivariate testing. Multivariate testing is like conducting multiple A-B tests at the same time on the same page. Instead of testing just one feature, you test several changes together to see how they perform. Imagine you have a website page and you want to test different headlines, images, and button colors all at once. This helps you understand how different elements interact with each other and which combination works best. Last one is multi-page testing. Multi-page testing is when you test changes across multiple pages of a website to see the overall effect on a visitor's journey or actions. For instance, if you're redesigning your online store, you might want to test how changes to the home page, product pages, and checkout process together influence the number of purchases. It's about understanding how changes on multiple pages impact user behavior and conversions. So this was about different types of A-B tests. Now let's understand the A-B testing process. Here we will start with gathering data. Begin your A-B testing journey by collecting relevant data to inform your optimization efforts. Utilize tools like Google Analytics to identify potential areas of improvement on your website or app. Focus on pages with high traffic and look for patterns such as high exit rates, which may indicate opportunities for enhancement. Additionally, gather insights from heat maps, social media feedback, and user surveys to uncover new optimization prospects and refine your testing strategy. After gathering data, next we can do is setting objectives. Clearly define your objectives and success metrics for the A-B test. Whether it's increasing clicks on a specific button or driving more product sales, having well-defined goals will enable you to measure the effectiveness of your test variations against the original. Establishing clear objectives ensures that you have a benchmark for success and can accurately evaluate the impact of your experiments. Next is developing hypotheses. With your objectives in mind, brainstorm potential hypotheses for a B-test. Propose theories on why certain changes might outperform the existing version of your website or app. Rank these ideas based on their potential impact and the effort required for implementation. Developing clear hypotheses helps guide your testing strategy and ensures that your experiments are focused and purposeful. Coming to the next step, creating variants. Utilize A-B testing tools like Optimizely Experiment to create variations of your website or app. Whether it's adjusting the color of a button, rearranging page elements, or implementing custom modifications, these tools make it easy to apply changes and track their impact. Before launching the experiment, conduct a trial to ensure that your variants function as intended and accurately represent the changes you want to test. Next step in the process is initiating the experiment. Once your variants are ready, launch the A-B test and randomly assign visitors to either the original or modified experience. Monitor their interactions and behavior throughout the experiment to determine which version performs better. By randomly allocating visitors, you ensure that your results are statistically significant and accurately reflect the impact of the changes made. Next up, awaiting results. The duration of your A-B test will depend on factors such as audience size and traffic volume. 
it's essential to wait until you reach statistical significance before drawing conclusions from your results. Statistical significance indicates that the observed differences in performance between the two versions are not due to chance and can be confidently attributed to the changes made. Last step of the process is analyzing outcomes. Once the experiment concludes, analyze the data to understand the performance differences between the original and modified versions of your website or app. Confirm if the results are statistically significant and assess the impact of the changes on your objectives. This analysis provides valuable insights that inform future optimization efforts and helps you make data-driven decisions about implementing the winning variation. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into the world of A-B testing. We've covered the fundamentals of A-B testing, explored its significance, and delved into its workings and various types. Now armed with knowledge, you're ready to embark on your own A-B testing adventures. Stay tuned for more valuable insights and tips on optimizing your strategies. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.